What's up guys, it's your boy John here. It has been a while. And uh, today, I mean, it's not something a little, I mean, it is kind of something a little bit different, but it's kind of the same. I got a Sudsy Bear bar review. So yeah, it's gonna get interesting. So not only did they send me the one bar of soap that I ordered, they sent me not one, not two, but three sample bars to come along with it. They sent me the Grinch rinse, the Scrooge Scrub and Old Saint Nick. They all basically kind of have the same uh, base piney scent to me, like a basically it's all like a Christmassy piney, almost a pepperminty scent, and all of them. But they're all they're all very good in their own way. So I was very surprised to get them, and also for them to smell that good. So dark side or dark side of the moon is that what I said? Smoky Mountain Fog. That's the one, I think that's what I said a minute ago, is Dark Side of the Moon. Smoky Mountain Fog is the one I got. And for some reason, this is a bar I've been looking at on the Sudsy website for a while, sorry, Squatch. But uh, I don't know, I just like bars that kind of are gonna remind me of that fresh, crisp morning watery scent. And I don't know why Smoky Mountain Fog made me think of that, but it did. So I decided to buy it. And I did, and I love it. I would say this bar is almost like Sudsy Bear's version of Fresh Falls. And I love Fresh Falls. Fresh Falls is one of my favorite bars, if not my favorite bar in the Squatch catalog. So the fact that I find this similar automatically makes it one of my favorite bars from the Sudsy, Sudsy catalog. But uh, I also haven't used a lot of Sudsy Bear bars. I used one other one called Wild Cherry. That one did smell pretty damn good. Now I got this one, which smells pretty damn good. And then these three samples that smell pretty damn good. Some of the ingredients you're gonna find in this bar are the saponified oils of olive, coconut, sustainable palm, and castor, which are all classics that you're gonna find in your squash bars. Besides castor, I don't think that one's on there. Organic shea butter, mango butter, organic aloe vera, essential oils of birch, pine, phosm, citral, star, anise, lichen moss, Appalachian ginseng, Ascalation glacial mineral clay, which interestingly enough is an ingredient in Fresh Falls. Thinly ground silica sand, activated charcoal, kaolin clay, and sea salt, which kaolin clay and sea salt are also ingredients in the uh, Fresh Falls bar. I don't know if uh, that has any correlation to why I think they smell similar, but I'm sure it does. Yeah. But not only does the spar bar smell amazing, it looks amazing. I love the bars that have kind of like a cool little look to them. And I love the color blue. So this bar automatically wins in my book and it does look cooler than Squatch's uh, Fresh Falls. But I do like the smell of Fresh Falls better but this one wins in the looks category for sure. Sudsy Bear also, to be honest, has upgraded their boxes a lot. One of my buddies, when they ordered me the wild cherry one, I believe they got me another one as well. I forget what that one was, what that one was. And they, it came in a little paper like thing. Like it didn't even come in a box or anything. And I found that to be almost a little bit trashy, but I mean, not trashy. I don't know why I said that but lazy almost, I guess. So I really like that they got the boxes for most of the bars, I'm assuming now. Um, yeah, that's that's a good upgrade for them. Anyway, my overall analysis of this Sudsy Bear haul is that I do really like it. I might have to buy more bars and review them on the channel. I really enjoyed this one, and uh, I'm sure there's others I'd really enjoy as well, especially with how much I love Dr. Squatch, and I love to try new stuff. So uh, yeah. Anyway, if you liked the video, why don't you go ahead and drop down in the comment section. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Drop a like. Subscribe. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we are at the 191 subscriber mark. So that means we almost to 200. So soon a 200 subscriber special will be coming out. And let me tell you, am I excited? I didn't think I would ever make it there. Um, but anyway, let me get out of here. Quit speed talking. Peace.